After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking the trip and the cops just threw me in jail. And my fingers are ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Give me out, just give me out. I've been with uh, Travis County for uh, about seven years, and most of my time has been down here at uh, Central Bookings. This is the last effort anybody has to get anything in here, so our job is, is to uh, pat them down, check their, uh, their property, make sure they don't have anything on them or in their property that's not supposed to get inside the jail uh, or on their person. As long as you beat on this door, you're going to stay in this room. Okay. You're going to stay back here. I'm going to walk away. The question hasn't changed. Uh, he wants to get out of the room. An officer felt the need to put him back there. I agree with that, with that call. You know, he's being loud. He's banging on the door. He says he's knocking, but um, he's not ready to sit out here with everybody else. I think he'd be disruptive. So we're going to keep him back there until he can comply. We're going to put him in the chair. If it prevents them from hurting themselves, you know, it's worthwhile. Turn around. You know, put, they don't think so at the turn time. Turn around, face wall over there, put your hands behind your back. You know, we have to do that. Go ahead and turn around. Turn around. Go ahead and turn around. Put, put your, your hands hand. behind your back. Go ahead. Put your arms behind your back. Don't resist. I'm Don't resist. Arrested, Don't man. resist. You arrest me again? Why did you? We're gonna put you in a safer place so you can't bang and hurt yourself. No, I'm just asking you to go into the day room. Into the day room is what I ask him, okay? I didn't ask you nothing. Sir. No, sir. Don't put me in this place. Just... No, I'm just, I'm, I'm I didn't get attention from you, okay? Well, you got my attention. I just don't want you to hurt yourself, man. It is quite wrong, okay? So, hey, don't lock me into a chair. I have to. I have no choice. Take my head off my head and throw it over the garbage. I don't care about you, <laughs> nobody else. <laughs> my mama daddy killed you for this. You don't quite know. It is quite wrong, okay? Go to hell. It's not right what you do, okay? Hey, let go of me. You let go of me. You let go of me. I hate you. Look, look, look at that. And tighten this here. This is right left arm. Can't do that. Come on, make you so you're doing me that way. I put you that way. People that way, okay? What I want you to do is I want you to sit there for 30 minutes and do not do anything. I'm sure glad you came around, man. All right? All right. Don't jump up real fast. Yeah, yeah, if you want to put your socks on, your socks are over here, you go ahead and do that, okay? We'll give you some time to do that, and we'll get your pictures and prints, all right? Yes, sir. All right. A little bit different outcome than what I expected, actually. He did right, and he even verbalized that he was sorry. I like good surprises. Hey, sir. I'll take him down. Come on. Please take him. Uh, you don't quite know. You know what? No, sir. There may be further charges now, right? Why? For assault. You yeah. assaulted that man. He spit on me. You assaulted that man. If I look in that camera and I don't see that he spit on you or he started this, you're getting charged. Please don't. I'm not a I'm not a violent man, but he called me a punk. I'm going to go get the other half. Son, let me tell you something. Somebody called you that down. 
I'll punch him out anyway, you know. Hit him at least twice. And you don't have any restraint, sir. And that's that's why you're here. Booking a medical in the chair assessment. He needs his five thirteen, please. Uh, 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 carrying himself that way. I straighten him up, okay? okay. And then he go on this way. So it's worth getting a charge over? No, I mean, it ain't hurt him. Just popped his nose a little bit. That's about That's it. worth getting a charge over? A charge about what? We're done. Obviously, a little too soon to let him out. Tell me what happened with between you and that guy. I didn't strike the man. Okay, I understand. I got no problem with it. The man was weak. Okay. Go ahead and have a seat. It's not my problem. He's weak-minded. Tell you what, even better, let's go back here. Whatever you want, brother. Let's go back here. Evidently, one of the uh, city officers witnessed the whole thing and said that the guy James threw the only punch, and this guy just took it. Uh, which, it's kind of hard to believe, but, but he doesn't want to file any charges, so we're not going to pursue it anymore. Turn your body to the right. James will go to court this morning on just his original charge. Good morning. I'm Judge Williams, and I'm going to give you all your magistrate warnings. Uh, James, public intoxication is worth $242. Do you want to plead, or do you want to uh, pay the fine? Uh, I'm, I'm going to have a hearing, rather. I'm, I'm guilty. Yeah, I am guilty, I say. I was out of hand, yeah, I know it was. And I think the jail saved my life there tonight. Yeah. All right, on your plea of guilty, I'm going to give you jail credit also. That's worth 100 You're going to owe $100. Sign there. Yes. They'll give you a copy when you release it. All right, good luck to all of you. Thank you, man. Have a good morning as it is. <laughs> How'd it go in court, man? Well, it went uh, in my favor. I disrespected you earlier, and I'm quite sorry because I was intoxicated. That's what alcohol does. I don't, I don't take anything personally. Okay. I'm a good man. If I took everything personally, man, I'm in the wrong job, right? Oh, All right. We'll see you, man. Yes, sir. I'll make it there and go home. All right, bud. This is something that I have always known that I wanted to do. I went to a four-year university and I double majored in criminal justice and sociology. And I graduated. As soon as I graduated, they were testing for the sheriff's department. I knew this was the department that I wanted to come to. I went and tested and I worked here at the Intake Release Center going on five years. What's going on? What's DUI. Okay. Has she been code for? Yeah, we're going to be here for a few minutes finishing up our paperwork. I'm sure there's a lot of people that get DUIs. Catherine, so you weren't truthful with us. I had two glasses of wine. Okay. When we also asked you if you'd ever been arrested before, you neglected to tell us that you'd been previously arrested. I was arrested according to California, but... Okay, so you were arrested. So you lied to the officers when they arrested you, right? That's okay, I'll get out of it. I have a lot of money coming my way, so it's all good. Well, if you had had a taxi or a designated driver, you wouldn't be here right now. Ah, uh, blah, 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 blah. I've already been through this many times before. I've got some money. Money can buy you anything in this world, so. The police are corrupted, as is many things in Orange County, so. <laughs> Just an Orange County girl. It doesn't mean anything in the end. It's just money that means something. <laughs> just let them finish up. Keep it quiet. Really? But I have a right to speech. So I can say whatever I want. He's a smart man. He can take care of business. You can see that I pay my taxes. I work. All right, Captain. Right over here. Face this. Spread your feet apart wide. Wider. Is there anything sharp on you that's going to poke us when we search you? Nope. Is there anything on you we need to know about? Nope. Anything in you we need to know about? Nope. Nothing illegal you're bringing into our jail? Nothing illegal. Okay, just stand still. Don't move around. Do you understand? I understand. Do you have any jewelry and your piercings we can't see? Nope. 
No nipple rings? Nope. Vaginal rings? Nope. Spread your feet again. When I remove your handcuffs, keep your hands behind your back. Do you understand me? Yes. Keep this hand right here, don't move it. You know what? Keep your mouth quiet. Realize where you're at. You should know how it works here. We're gonna give her a little time to cool off, to detox before we can pull her out and then let her go through the whole process of everything else. Hi guys, what you got? Assault battery on a peace officer, resisting arrest, destruction of evidence, possession of cocaine. First right, hanger right. Keep walking. Where did all this happen at? San Clemente? What was he doing at the time? Oh, he was uh, doing a line of coke in a car. Coke, huh? Drug of choice? I got beat up, you know, it's... Okay. We followed him out to a car, him and his buddy got into the car. We saw them both do a line of coke. We walked up, they were putting more coke down on the center console. This is not right. I... So what caused the fight? Uh, when we were outside the car, we, were, we could see him doing the lines of coke. Mm -hmm. So we told him to leave it alone. He starts to brush it, buried his face, and then started snorting it. So we opened the doors, and then he come out fighting. Um, I came out of the car. Pretty good fight. Yeah, I can see. I'm not gonna resist arrest, you know. He drove yeah. us 30 feet. Two cops, 30 feet. Dude. There were over 100 witnesses. Well. You weren't just sitting in a car and wound up 30 feet down the road. I don't deserve to have my head not buried into the ground. I don't deserve to be tasered. Beyond belief, it was crazy. Well, I'm gonna draw some blood. Stand up, please. In California, it is against the law for anyone to refuse chemical testing if law enforcement believes that you're under the influence of any type of drugs. We are allowed to take it forcibly. Have a seat. No, you're not. I'm going to the hospital right now. Have a seat. No, I'm not. You can. I'm not going to poke you. I'm gonna draw some blood. I don't want to poke you, so don't move. You know what? I've had enough of you guys and. Can you send a couple guys out to the DUI room? I'm not. This is not right. See this taser right here? Oh, you're going to taser me again? OK. I'm not moving. I'm cooperating. All of a sudden, I've cooperated. If you make any movements, you're going to get tased. You OK. Understand? You start kicking, you start yes, flailing. Yes, sir. I'm not a kicker. OK, fine. Let me go now. Is that enough? I got enough. We're Let me go. You good? He's got enough. Let me go. Due to his numerous felony charges, he's going to have to wait and go to court. And because there's so many charges, he's probably going to be doing a lot of time. Okay, what we're going to do is go over your medical history. You currently have any medical problems? No, sir. Client, I'm going to get her thumbprint. Stay seated. Okay, the arresting deputies need your thumbprint for the report. Give me your right hand. Is it just one copy? One copy. Okay. Stay seated until we close the cell door. She comes in here having this whole attitude of, oh, I know my rights, I do this, I do that, and I'm not in the wrong. <laughs> having an attitude with us doesn't make our jobs easier, so it's not gonna make it easy for yourself. That means that an officer's bringing someone in who can be combative, who's not cooperating right now. So this is the chair that we use, that if he does come in combative, we're going to strap him to this chair, and then we'll bring him through that way. Trash can next time. Out of one? We need a spit mask. Can for this we guy. put a spit mask on? There you go, sir. Spit all you want. Now they just put on a spit mask because he's bleeding from his mouth and spitting on the floor. Where are we going? They're just going to ask us some questions. 
<laughs> and it's on. Sir, you're not kicked, sir. See how much instructions you're giving, right? How many <laughs> takes to take me down? Ten? Come on, do whatever you want to do. Officers are now going to take him to a side cell. Probably going to leave him belly chains until he can calm down. As individuals come in intoxicated. They always come in with the attitude, think that they know what to do here and that they can run this place, but. All right, sir, you're going to stay in here for a while. You take a nap. When you wake up, if you're not drunk anymore, we'll get you out of here so you can get processed and maybe get out of jail. Stay right there until the door closes. I'm okay, okay. man. All right. right. Stay up there until we all okay. leave. All right, take a nap, sir. Sleepy time. And one intoxicated guy down. It's Friday night. I'm sure we'll see a lot more. He drank too much. He got grubby, like he does. He's having a hard time on the job. Lawyers, you are a P-Town. Sorry, it's good. Ma'am, the nurse is just trying to help you. You need to answer her question. I was comfortable with my guy. OK, what's your first In order to relax, so I can heal my back. You laughing? I'm laughing at um, Officer You're Mico. laughing. Not at you, ma'am. Yeah, I would never laugh She would never laugh. Ma'am, ma'am, can I zip up your shirt for you, please? Why, is he turning you on? Yes, I don't feel like being turned on right now, ma'am. You're such a tease. Oh, no, we're not going to take it down. Relax. Don't tell me anything. Leave You're it right. up there, OK? Right. Be prim and proper. You're right. I was until no, relax, you got relax, involved. Relax, 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 relax. I was fine. I'm You're doing great. Home. Doing my guy right. Is she done? You're not going to answer yeah, any questions for us? Anything. I don't have any. I can't put anything in. Uh, this is going to help. Joe, I didn't do nothing but come over my guy. I didn't do nothing but come over with my guy. Deep breaths, ma'am. I don't do anything. Okay, I don't do anything. Okay, do anything. off of me. She's just a nurse, ma'am. Sit sure. back. Sit back. Anyway, okay, no? Okay. Nobody? Do it. Oh. No, 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 no. Bring it off. Take it off. Let go of my hand. Yep, we're going to, do we need the chair? Okay, hey, don't, don't you bite. Don't you I'm bite. Got it. Don't you I'm bite. Look at that one. You don't bite. Got uh -huh. it? Not you're not an animal. Thing. You're a human being. You don't fight people. Got it? Anything. Now apologize to me. That was rude. Was it my hand? Ma'am, are you going to get up and walk? Yes. Let's see. Yes, sir. Whoa. What? <laughs> Why are you get power you need to walk. I'm you need to walk. Walking. You're not I'm walking. You're not walking, ma'am. Yes, I am. You're, you're stopping on me. me. Power tripping me. What happened? Why are you here? Power tripping me? Because he's an alcoholic. My guy got mad at me. Do I look like I'm fighting? Oh, I think you're doing great. Do you Number feel one. good? Does it turn me on? No, ma'am, it does not turn me on. You're really. As pretty as you are, I am not turned on by any of this. Really yeah. yeah. I'm not fighting. Now listen to I'm me. They are going to take your clothes. They're going to put you on this bed. Do not resist. Do not fight because if you do, you will get hurt. You understand? I want you to be calm and collected, okay? He'll bring you out and we'll get you processed, okay? All right, ma'am. How'd you get your scratches, ma'am? Yeah, Don't cry. You have a lot of bruises all over you. Who gave you the bruises? Who, your boyfriend? Is he the one who gave you the bruises? He really hurt me. I was yeah. trying to hold on to him. So I just walked in the door and it didn't take five minutes, ten minutes. And he just, he went off. He does this, I'm a Viking, I'm this, I'm that. What does he mean by a Viking? It's his blood. He's, it's this little ego thing. <laughs> Stupid. No man needs to be putting you down. All right, you are a very powerful woman. You need to think like that. I know, it's just them feeling insecure about themselves. Exactly, but it's because he makes you feel that way. I even give him that. I, I let him just... Because you don't want to fight anymore, right? I'm going to go check in with the nurse with you. Thank you. We'll see what we can do, okay? I like you a lot better when you're calmed down. Look at, you're very sincere. Thank you. Okay, hon. How long is it going to be? How much are you going to take from an abusive guy before you finally figure out, you know, this is, you're better than this? Hopefully, it doesn't kill her. 
It's just very sad, but it's very typical. And the doors open up and they leave me outside And they hand me my clothes and, and the key to my ride Now the night hits my face and it brings me to life Oh Lord, now I'm out that jail tonight Another night in my street, another night in my hair Now I'm kicking and tripping without the cops on my chair Now my hands on the wheel and my fingers grew tight I'm gonna go home to my family tonight I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my needs I don't wanna be alone, I gotta get about it Just give me out, just give me out and the doors open up and they leave me outside I'm gonna go home to my family tonight I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my needs I don't wanna be